the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle Qualifier next. And this is leg four, final at Cheltenham at the Cheltenham Festival. Of course, it's three miles and one furlong. It's a 0 to 140. And the top one is Bill Kinnan for Alex Cherry. Brigorn, Graham Clutterbuck, Dan Silly, Fami, Alex Cherry, Equator, Paul Rhodes, Tamanaco Gift, Darren Thompson, Lady Tinkerbell, Jim Murray, La Paz, Midnight, Vinnie Gerard, Achain Byrne, Martin Leader, Mercury Rising, Craig Beckwith, Harling Jules, David Robertson, French Vacation, Leon Van Rensburg, Climbing Shadows, Craig Beckwith, Ernest Dravinsky, Paul Rhodes, Camp Possession, B. Fotheringham, Saucy Up, Ryan Tamasemi, Lexington, Rich, Vinnie Gerard, Fleeting Gimp, Glimpse, B. Fotheringham, Mighty Black, Graham Clutterbuck, and Ring of Esteem, and Scenario Woodfire for Thomas Rogers at the bottom. They're off and racing already. And down towards the first of the flights, then, and it's Equator and Bell Kinnan. Well, they've got to dispute the lead as they get towards the first of the 13 flights they've got to take in this three mile and one furlong event. And Equator is it's won the battle to lead. They haven't quite made it to the first flight yet, but they will do shortly. There it is, and uh, the leader just decided to run straight through it. So the best of starts for Equator, but he seems to have recovered enough to still be in the lead as they get over the second. And again, one or two untidy jumps there for one or two of the others as well, but they're sort of, sort of sorted themselves out. And there's still a long way to go. And Equator is in front. Climbing Shadows has moved through in a second. Lexington Rich, closest to us, is third. With Lady Tinkerbell right over on the far side, just about fourth, looking towards the back ring of a steam. It's just the early back marker. Coming towards the third flight shortly. And Equator is in the lead, I'm sure. One or two of these wide runners will try and tuck in a little bit when they get to a turn. But it's Equator. He's got the lead despite an early mistake. Stood off that one but got over it okay. And in the lead. And they are beginning to sort of get into a more usual racing formation now then equators in front climbing shadows is second saucy looks move through into third then ernest dravinsky is fourth and bell kennan is fifth Achain burn has made significant progress as well move up into sixth and behind that one is lady tinkerman and mighty black with dan silly family and on this near side the one that's running widest of all now is french vacation as they get over flight number four it's equator who is in the lead Leading by five lengths from Saucy up in second, Ernest Stravinsky third as they get over number five. Uh, one or two good jumps in the pack there. The pink jacketed fleeting glimpse jumped it quite well on the inside. But Equator leads, Saucy up second, Ernest Stravinsky third, and then Climbing Shadows is four, and then Bell Kennan five. Then Dan Silly Fami towards the back, Brigorn is out of shot. So they take the sixth. So again, they all take nicely. With the equator in the lead. So past the big screen they go then. And they'll swing out for a complete circuit of this Warwickshire track. Should take a cross flight before they swing into the back. Straight and go down in the dip where they're obscured from the stand. Pretty testing track this one. And Equator is the leader by about six lengths. To Ernest Stravinsky in second, Saucy up his third. Dunsany Family has gone for them. Bell Kennan and Arcane Burn, and then Climbing Shadows and Mighty Black. And Mercury Rises after that one. And Lady Tinkerbell, French Vacation, and Tamanaco Gift are next. And then French Vacation wide on the truck, and Tamanaco Gift on the rail. Over the seventh they go. They're all safely over with Brigorn. Still the back marker, but in shot now. And Equator leading by two to source it up in second. Ernest Stravinsky third. Akane Burns move through nicely into fourth. Then comes French Vacation and Mighty Black. And Climbing Shadows. Bell Kennan is also uh, there, along with Stablemate Dan City Family. Lady Tinkerbell is there as well. The two B Fotheringham horses, Camp Possession and Fleeting Glimpse, are also in the middle of the pack with Harling Jewels in the purple and turquoise for David Robertson still there as well. It's a ball of green towards the back, isn't it? With the exception of Brigorn, who's the back marker, but they take number eight and Equator has been joined by Saucy Up. And Equator on the inside of Saucy Up with Climbing Shadows third, French Vacation creeping ever closer, right on the outside in fourth, gets over that one and probably lands in third, Mighty Black 
Jumped it well on the inside. Also, Bell Kennan is still there. So is Akane Burn. Ernest Dravinsky is on the premises as well. It's still a wide open race. And they're well inside the final mile. And Saucy Duck probably just got its head in front for the first time. Then there, from Equator on the inside. Then Bell Kennan. Then comes Climbing Shadows and French Vacation. Dan City Fami. Uh, that one's really starting to motor through the pack now. And has come through now to almost take a share of the lead. So Saucy Duck, Equator and Dan City Fami. Stable mate Bell Kennan back in fourth. Then Mighty Black French vacations after that one. Then comes Climbing Shadows. Lady Tinkerbell's also trying to get into it now, but they've still got five furlongs to go over the tenth flight. They go. They've got three more to take now, and it's. Equator back up in the lead on the inside. Equator from Saucy Duck. Then come the Cherry Pair. Dan Silly Fami and Bell Kinnan. Harling Jules is now getting into it. French Vacation and Mighty Black are next. Arcane Burners now switched right round the outside. And they're coming out towards the final three flights then now. And suddenly Harling Jules has taken it up. It's Harling Jules has gone on from Equator in second. Saucy Duck is third. Tamanarko Gift is now coming through over the third last they go. It's Harling Jules in the lead from Equator and Saucy Duck. Tamanarko Gift up the centre of the track is really well. Look at this brigand come from nowhere. They've got two to take. It's Harling Jules in the lead by a length. Harling Jules over the second last gets over well, gets away from it well. He's sure to go in best of all now. Saucy Duck is still second. Tamanarko give third brigand running on equator, sticking on as well. So too French vacation, but down towards the final flight then. It's Harling Jules in the lead. La Paz Miss Knight's gone at the back, but it's Harling Jules in the lead by three. At the final flight, Harling Jules looking like it's only going to jump it. Gets over it nicely, gets away from it well. And the chase by Saucy Duck and Brigorn and Bell Kennan. But this is going to be Harling Jules all the way to the line. And Harling Jules is going to take it. Brigorn's going to run on one into second. Then Saucy Duck is third and French Vacation four. And looking towards the back, Dan Silly Fami, Fleeting Glimpse and La Paz Midnight all departed the race in the straight. And it was Harling Jules that took it for David Robertson. Winning it by a good three lengths. Brigorn's ran a good race in second as well. So Harling Jules for David Robertson the winner. Brigorn for Graham Clutterbuck was second. Sorted up Ryan Taylor semi third. French Vacation was fourth for Leon Van Rensburg. And the fifth placed horse was Bell Kinnan for Alex Cherry. I'm not sure how many qualified for the final. Probably four. The final is at Cheltenham in a few weeks.